All right. Um, so just tell everybody who you are and where you're from. My name is LV. I'm from New Rochelle, New York, currently located in West Orlando, Florida. I'm a Florida boy now. All right. So and um, so tell people what kind of music you make. Um, I just make I just make regular, try to keep it up to date, a little wittiness, you know, just some cool raps. And I know I ain't really with all that gangster shit and all that. Just trying to, I don't know, trying to kill the beat every time. All right, you said you're not really with no gangster shit and all that. So what what inspired you to start rapping? Where did you, was it where you came from? Um, how you grew up? Like, you just like music? Yeah, it was just basically, well, actually, I'll tell you what really made me rap. Um, in fifth grade, there was this kid that would always freestyle at lunch, and he would always like roast us, but can never rap back. You could never roast back. So that's what really like made me start rapping, and then from there it just got more serious. By the time I was like in eighth grade, that's when I really took it serious, and um, just been going on ever since. What was it like recording your first song and then hearing it at the end, and then? Were you like, damn, this is something I want to do, or was it something you wanted to work at? Or? I thought I was the best rapper in the world, but yeah. now listening to it, it was the worst song ever. People used to tell me like, bro, like that shit trash. Like, don't even, don't even try. I used to be like, nah, there's no way. But when you listen back to it, you realize that you always gonna improve. But I knew that that was something that I, I like doing, so I just kept doing it. All right, and what, what do you say inspires your music? So, what, where does it come from? Where do you say you're not into the gang shit, you're not into none of that, so where, where does music come from for you? Because a lot of people who grew up in the gangs and grew up in that shit, that's their outlet. So why yeah. is it your outlet? Um, it's just, I don't know. I just, it just was never really me, and I never wanted to be what I'm not. But it's not like I chose not to do it. I mean, I can do it. But I wouldn't really know what to talk about. So all I could talk about is just just trying to be, just come up with punchlines and metaphors and shit like that. So that's just really what, it was never like really a choice. I just did it. And it's just, it, this is what it is. It's not that type of rap, but. All right, what, what, what would you say your end goal is to the whole music thing? What do you want to accomplish? Just giving, giving my people a voice. You know, I feel like we're underrated in the game. And I mean, there's a few Mexican rappers out now, but it's like, there's a big ass wall in front of them. And it's just so hard to, no matter how many followers you got, no matter how dope your music is, it's almost like a barrier that we just can't get through. But right now, at the moment, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely getting easier. Another five years, you'll probably see way more of us in the rap game and not being stereotyped as a certain type of rap music. Because Mexicans always get put into the whole like Chicano rap, and I love that shit, but there's always more kinds of Mexican rappers from all over the states that got different styles. Just like you got just regular just regular rap music. You got your West Coast rap, you got your East Coast, Northern, like New York rap, you got your Southern rap, you got your, 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 your drill music from Chicago, you know? It's like the same thing, just. So what, what made you choose to go with, you know, English rap rather than go like a more Bad Bunny route or go with the whole, you know, Spanish speaking aspect of it? It's more natural. Like, I could do Spanish, but it's not, it wouldn't be as easy for me. Like Bad Bunny, he probably, he grew up Spanish. I grew up more speaking English. I know how to speak Spanish, but I grew up more English. And then the rap music I was listening to and all the music, like rock music, that's just what it was. So I feel like I gotta accomplish my English music first for me to then start kind of messing around with the Spanish raps and kind of, you know, blending it up. And then once I feel I'm ready, then I could drop way more Spanish projects. All right, anything else you, you got left to say? Um, just follow me on, on social media, you know, just, Every 407, everything, YouTube, SoundCloud, whatever. I'm trying to get onto my Apple Music, I'm trying to get into my uh, Spinrilla, Worldstar. Those are my next goals, you know. Just trying to take it to that next level. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure that my music is right. 
because to a lot of people it'd be like a first impression. And if you got a bad first impression, that's it. You know, people are not gonna take you serious. Berg TV, appreciate y'all. You already know Orlando, Florida, Orlando artists.